We're gonna start coding an OS. Make Corlayer happen, Mary. Right around, way around. Okay, from now on, I'm going to practice typing super quickly. I wonder how fast I can type. 60 seconds of coding. Let me remove my watch. Okay, 32 words per minute. That's pathetic. I found this website, um, osdev.org. It's a directory of articles that teach you how to develop an OS, an operating system. And it's very, very, very complicated and legit. And it has so much detail. It sounds nearly impossible to be able to code a functional o OS or operating system in 30 days. It's gonna be barely an operating system. Just doing the minimum of everything. And it's gonna be a stepping stone for anybody who wants to understand what an OS does. And it's gonna be perfect for that and only that. Look at all the fucking articles. There's so many of them in there. It's so, so detailed. It's crazy. If you want to develop your own operating system, where do you start? How do you do that? How does one develop an operating fucking system? We're gonna find out the answer to that question. We're gonna find the different pieces that you need to make to make an operating system. And we're gonna write some sort of a hello world of an operating system. Okay guys, I've got everything you need to know about operating systems in this tiny little chart over here. So let's go through it. First of all, your OS is basically a kernel. And what it does is that it manages memory, processes, and IO. So you have your RAM, your memory, and you put your code and other stuff in your memory, and that's how you run code. And you have your processes, different programs running at the same time. So you have to manage those and who gets CPU time. And you have to manage IO, your mouse, your keyboard, your monitors and everything. And that's what your kernel does. And kernel is basically can be, can be other stuff, but it usually is C code that uses C libraries. So it's C code that calls functions like printf, malloc and other types of functions that are in standard c libraries right and um once you have the c code you give it to a compiler and assembler and you get object code object code is just binary that does not ha does not include implementation for c libraries so whenever you say printf it just calls a function called printf it doesn't have an implementation for printf you take that object code you give it to a linker and the linker will link that object code against your C libraries. So it connects your, uh, it connects the printf to actual implementation of printf in the C library for the specific type of machine that you have. And from that linker, you get binaries for your OS that manages IO, manages memory, does all the things that your OS does. And you just put it in the memory or put it in the disk or give it to the boot bootloader to just run the kernel on your machine. But then um, the equivalent of hello world for a kernel is basically a, it's C code that puts characters, it puts characters on an IO port, which could be UART in the simplest format. So what it does, it, it does, it manages a little bit of memory to just get the characters from the memory. And it does a little bit of IO to put the characters, get the characters from memory and put them on a port and that's it. So yeah, so that's what an operating system is and does. And it's time to make that hello world happen.